guys, it's Sobs here. Welcome back to another episode of GT5 Project Drifting. And in this episode, again, I want to kind of experiment. So today, I'm going to be going into dealership again. And I'm going to buy a Honda NSX because um, that's a car that I've been asked to, to do basically a tutorial on how to how to drift with uh, with an MR. And um, this is it. And I want to... Well, it's not really a tutorial because I'm not doing a tutorial right now, but... Um, oh, yellow, definitely. Um, but I want to basically try and tune this and see if I can actually get this car to drift. I have no Honda NSXs ever that I've tuned for drifting, so, like, I have about four of these, three or four of these. Probably not this one, because the Type R I have about, uh, two of, and then one of them is, I think, just for looks. I, I, I tuned it up just, just to make it look good. And then the other one I, I made it just for racing, so it actually looks really, really good. And it handles so well for racing. It's probably one of my fastest cars, um, you know, just for racing around any tracks and whatever. It only has about 440 horsepower. And that's probably what I'm, gonna, what I'm going to be getting in this episode as well. And um, that's because I can't add a turbo on this. And um, it shouldn't really make a difference because that thing is powerful as fuck. Especially because it is, um, it is very light. So, again, I'll go into... GTR as I do in every episode. Um, also, a lot of people actually really like the Skyline from last week. So, um, Also, if you do enjoy this video, make sure you please give it a thumbs up. You don't have to like the video just because you want the car. You can like the, vi the video just because you, like, you know, enjoyed the video itself. So, first of all, oil change, as you do. Also, make sure to subscribe because if you don't get this car this week, you can probably try out and get the car from next week. Um, and so on and so forth, because I do these almost every single week, so hope you guys um, look forward to that. Um, a lot of people actually do look forward to it, because even on my other videos, I keep getting asked, do another Project Drifting video by other people in the comments, and I'm like, well, I'm going to have to wait. Well, you're going to have to wait, actually, because um, I have to wait for people to... Eh, these rules look a little bit too rally-ish for, for this. Um... These are probably the best wheels. These are the ones I put on my on my other one as well. Um, yellow or silver? Let's put them to silver, just so they look match the car a little bit more. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, um, there was there's like people telling me to do uh, project drifting videos like faster than they're actually supposed to be out on, and I'm not doing that because I actually want to give people a chance to um, definitely a um, to actually win, you know, the car. For, for them. I don't want to put the wing on. I kind of want to, but I don't. <laughs> um, this is exactly what mine looks like. My, my, the one that I tune up for racing, except instead of the, the, I, I don't really want to put the wing on it though, because I actually like the, the stock wing that's already on it. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to go and try buy all the stuff for the car that I need from the tuning shop. And then I'm going to go into the track, well, onto the track, sorry. And I will be, uh, I'll be modifying the car there and showing you guys all the settings that I need to do for it. And hopefully I can get this done in the first try. If I don't, I'm gonna have to go out and basically do it again. So, I'll see you guys, um, when I'm on the track. Okay, so we're here in the settings. Um, so let's go into suspension first of all and try to see if I can do this. Um, I'm gonna try my best to, to tune this pretty much the same way as I do with a rear wheel drive and see if that does the job. If not, I have to go back into the into these um, settings that I have here and I'll, I'll have to try and change them up a little bit. But um, it shouldn't be that much different. It's it just like the balance of the car that's um, that's different. I should put this on 8 at the front. This right there. Let's so leave that like that for the moment. I can probably work on the toe a little bit if anything is wrong. So I'll put that there. Okay. Transmission is fine. Everything else should be pretty much fine. So the car has 446 horsepower and uh, 1,051 kilos. Um, I'm kind of wondering if this is correct or not. If not, as I said, I just I can go back and, uh, and uh, do all this stuff if I need to. You know, I can just go back and change the stuff in the settings. But... Let's hope it's it's correct because change this. I 
It does feel like the car wants to basically straighten itself out a little bit more than my my other cars, but if you put the pa if you put like a little bit more power into it, oh, it's fine. It's not bad, actually. See, this is where a turbo would be so, so handy because it'll keep it at the high revs all the time, even though, like... I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, the car always wants to straighten itself out. Always. And you can feel it when you're drifting. You can feel the... Oh, shit. You can feel the the back trying to, to go where it's actually supposed to be, you know, at the back and not at the side. And, um... Yeah, the car always wants to straighten itself out. So... This is an experiment, as I said, but... I'm gonna go back into the settings. As you guys probably know, the way this, this works is I need to get 20,000 points, and if I don't get 20,000 points, I have to bring the car back into the settings, change the settings to try and get this to 20,000 points. And, um, at the moment it's 16,668 points. So, okay, so after failing to actually get the car to, to, to go sideways, I went into the fully customizable transmission, and I tried out um, these settings, as you can see here on the screen. I kind of changed them up a little bit to the way they were before. So I'm going to try and see if the car goes uh, properly sideways without actually getting any lag from second to third gear, as I did before when I had the fully customizable transmission. Um, after I had that, I changed it to the six-speed close ratio, and I basically um, got the exact same thing, except from third to fourth gear. So I'm going to try my best to see if I can get this car to... The car goes sideways perfectly fine. Like, right now, I fixed the toe on it, so, um, like, the car doesn't want to straighten itself out again. Now, the problem is, is that I'm getting a bit of a lag from third to fourth gear, or from second to third gear, whenever I... Ch oh, God, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> so, I'm getting a bit of lag from second to third gear, or from third to fourth gear, whenever I try to change gears when I'm in a drift. So, right now, apparently, it didn't do it, as you just noticed there. And, um, I don't think I'm going to be getting... 20,000 views in the... 20,000 views? 20,000, um... Uh, points. On this lap, because I kind of failed there at the start, and I didn't get enough points. But, um... Oh, I might, actually. Let's hope... Let's hope we are. So, so far this is going pretty well, I guess. You, I, I could have done better. See, from there, second to third gear, it, it's a big, big lag, and that's where a turbo should come in. And um, it kind of sucks that you can't put on a turbo on this. So, even though I'm not going to... I'm pretty much certain I'm not going to be getting 20,000 points in this uh, on this lap. So, if I don't, I'm going to go do another lap. Look, the car just... Oh, God. There we go. So, yeah, no... 16,000 points, so if I can fix what I did here at the start where I kind of messed up let's go a little bit closer there we go there we go that's much, much, much better go to the other side brake, change it down handbrake to straighten the car out a little bit well not to straighten, it's actually kick the back out that's that's actually what I should have said. 8,000 points before we get to this corner. That's not bad. So we should get 10,000 points after we... Have, yes, that's fine. We'll probably get 10,000 points if I don't mess up. <laughs> there, I actually should have gone a little bit closer to the inside. Because then I would have gotten a little bit more points. Change the third gear, not second. Oh, actually, I can do this corner in third gear. Yeah, the car is fine. I just need a little bit of work. And a bit of testing, and I actually tested this car a little bit on this, like a good few times on this track, um, f just before I, I actually did manage to take it out right now. Um, I tried a bunch of transmission settings that hasn't worked that well, so right now apparently this one works pretty, pretty well. So twenty-one thousand three hundred eighty points is what I got with this car. So hopefully you guys 
have enjoyed this episode. I know that I've like skipped through a few things, um, but it's basically just me testing out the car, and I could not get it to get twenty thousand points until I actually changed to uh, change the tow, and then after I changed the transmission because it was getting a bit of lag, as you've probably noticed. Um, it's from second, to third gear. Then when I changed it to the six-speed close, uh, super close transmission, I, I was getting a lag between third and fourth gear. And right now, apparently, it's not getting that much um, that much lag before uh, as as it did before. Actually, that's what I should have said. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you want this car, simply all you have to do is comment below, and you guys are gonna be getting it. Um, hopefully, uh, the winner will be. Um, a person that hasn't, I haven't chosen before, and I'm gonna try my best to actually not choose the exact same person again, um, just so it's a little bit fair for everybody else. Also, I'm gonna leave this video out for about a week before I bring out my next video. So, again, if you guys have enjoyed it, please leave it a like because uh, it does help out my channel and it does help out other people to find my videos. And uh, that's about it. So, I'll see you guys later, and uh, peace out.